Hiya, Laurie here. So today we're going to be opening the World of Wizardry gear box of January. I'm so excited. So I've already kind of opened the little floppy thing. So I'm just gonna. So excited. So this is the Geek Gear monthly subscription box and it is £20 a month. I'll double check that and put it on the screen somewhere for you. And what it is is you can get two, you can get the Geek Gear bo box rather, which is just basically random geeky things like Marvel, DC, um, Jurassic Park, Buffy, Harry Potter, things like that and you also get the World of Wizardry Geek Gear box which is this one which is all Harry Potter and I think there's Fantastic Beasts in here as well and you can also pick your house or you can pick just Hogwarts I think so I am a Hufflepuff, proud Hufflepuff and so that's probably why my tissue paper is yellow and black but I'm guessing that it would be specific to each house and you do get house related items and you can pick your size as far as I know you, you always get a wearable in the box as well so let's just get right into this so I'm just going to get right into this so, oh, I'm so excited. the first thing that I see is the t-shirt and let's see what this is Awesome. So it's a Newt's Commander, and I think that's a centre. I'm going to kind of try and layer it over my armour. So I think that's a centre and possibly a dragon. Um, a basilisk, maybe? I don't know. Comment below if you know everything that's in there, because I can't quite make out what this guy is. So if you do know what that is let me know in the comments below and the next thing that I see is this house artesian bath bomb so it's in a cute little box with all the house crests on it and I'm assuming it's house related I don't know how they're going to do that so yeah, get into it. Mm. so it's got like black and yellow for Hufflepuff and it's can't really smell anything. It's sort of sweet though, kind of like candy, like hard candy. So that's cool. Can't wait to use that. So I'll pop it back in the box to keep it safe. And let's see what this one is. Handmade artesian cushion cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's. Got loyal on the Hufflepuff badger, the honey badger. Let me take that out. Hold on, I'll take it out of the. So just taking it out of the shiny stuff, so maybe you can get a better look at it. It is awesome, and it's got a wee zip at the bottom for your cushion. I cannot wait. I love love cushions, um, as you probably guessed by the state of my couch. So the next thing is a poster and this is a Geek Gear exclusive poster so you can make that out so let's open this bad boy up and see what else we got I'll try and put the links down below for um, the Geek Gear information I'm still kind of figuring out how to add links but if I do figure that out I will definitely put the links down below for you guys if you want to get one of these it's massive. Oh. So you get to see it first. Oh, let's see. Awesome! So it's all the house crests and the Hogwarts crest smack bang in the middle. I do not know if I'm going to get a frame for this, but I will definitely try. Oh. That is so cool. And we have a pin, which is the sorting hat, and it's just got like all the house colours dangling down from the bottom there. Um, and you get three different types, you get the common one, which is the one I've got, and then you've got rare, which is spew, 
and you've got ultra rare which is Luna with her glasses but I'm quite happy with mine I like the sorting hat then what's this one we've got a big bubble wrap thing Ooh, it's a candle and this is another house artesian thing it's um, vanilla and it's got a little made with love um, tag on it and I'm assuming it's Gable because it's house related. Well, that's not beautiful. And it just, it's got a kind of ombre effect. So it's like yellow and it just gets lighter and lighter. And it smells of vanilla. It's gorgeous. And then we've got a little booklet. And we've got some recipes. In the last Geek Care box, they actually did a recipe book. And I think you've got three or four recipes in it. And I think this is going to be like a common thing where every month you're getting new recipes unfortunately i didn't get last month's a uh, box so i don't have the actual recipe book binder thing but in this one you're getting weasley family breakfast which is delicious looking so you've got the ingredients and then the method and then you've also got magical butterscotch cheesecake. Yum. And again, the ingredients and the method. I might give one of these a bash if you'd like me to see, if you would like to see me do a video on maybe the butterscotch cheesecake. Let me know in the comments below and I'll do that. And the last thing I think is, I'm going to get out, a poster. And it is the dough, eh, not the dough, the stag. <laughs> and then it's got Expecto Patronum written down here and a couple of stars kind of drawn in. I think it's just sort of drawn in with pen, like different coloured pens. And this is a Geek Gear exclusive as well. And I can't really, it's just sort of like on um, maybe textbook paper from one of the potions book or spell books. But it's awesome. And it's obviously got the hardback to keep it nice and tight. Something in my room just decided that it wanted to attack the floor. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got in the Geek Gear box. And then obviously we've got the World of Wizardry booklet um, for January the 18th. And it just tells you everything that you've got in the box. Yeah, the candles were, they would have been different depending on your house. And it also gives you a price. So the pin was $6.99, the cushion cover was $9.99. Um, this month's cookbook recipes, I think they were just like made by the Geek Gear Company. Um, and the candles were $5.99, the poster of the crests was $6.99, the expecto print was $4.99. The house bath bombs were $5.99 and the t-shirt was $11.99. Oh, and apparently it glows in the dark. Mm. So that's everything there. And I hope you like this. I know I did. And I will definitely give you more of these in the future. So give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these or any other box openings, <laughs> um, unboxings. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to try any of those recipes for you and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll hopefully see you next time.